The Nightfall line of toy haulers does a great job of marrying together style, features, and affordability. There's currently three models in the lineup, and they range from about 27 foot to about 32 and a half foot. All of them have at least a 14 foot garage and right around 4,500 pounds of carrying capacity, which is pretty darn good when you're looking at a toy haul. The shortest in the Nightfall lineup, the 21N, still has a 14 foot garage. And from your countertop to the wall, you have 77 inches. So you have plenty of space in here for pretty much any toy you wanna bring from a golf cart to uh, an ATV, quad, motorcycles, or if you just want a big open space, this one fits the bill. In the back is going to be your seating. Both of these are extremely comfortable, but also rollover sofas. Out the back is our patio. This patio can support 1,500 pounds, perfect for parties. And if we drop it down into a ramp, it not only makes it easier for access of toys, but can also support 3,000 pounds. You will also see this screen that is magnetic, so it is completely removable. And then right up top is the Tokyo style drop down bed. Now this bed is super simple to set up, can support up to 600 pounds. It also has your European style bed slats for some added support. Plus you'll see the rod that goes across the back that personally I think would work pretty well if you need to hang up any additional clothes. The kitchen in all nightfalls will have thermoform countertop, large single basin stainless steel sink, high rise pull out faucet, and three burner cooktop. Right up top is where you will have your convection oven as well as the air fryer. And the refrigerator in all the nightfall models is a 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. And then right across the way on the door side is a nice big window. You will see that you just have a manual roller shade so you can just kind of roll it up like so. And then once you get it to where you want it to go, you have these straps, you can just lash the straps in on all three sides. Again, very quick and easy to use. And you don't have to worry about any tensioners or anything breaking. You will also see that this one has solar. It is prepped for that. It is expandable if you want to add more. The bedroom in the 21N is unique because this is currently the only one in the lineup with a slide out. And you can see it has the slide out queen bed. Now, there are windows in both sides of that slide to allow for a nice cross breeze at night, storage up above. And for the rest of the bedroom, you will see you have plenty of storage here. And again, because this one uh, is the Ultra model, this one also has the Gen Prep, and you can see the control here in the bedroom as well. The bathroom in the 21N does have two entrances and exits, one into the bedroom that we just saw, the other one, of course, into the main living area. Now, the toilet actually has pretty good space. You see I have a plenty of leg room here, great shoulder space. Uh, it is a plastic bowl, so that might be something you wanna switch out in a few years. Um, but the, the sink space actually is pretty sufficient. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the construction on the Nightfall. We'll kind of start at the bottom here and work our way up. So underneath, you have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, which will help protect it from some of the elements as it's traveling, as well as hopefully keep rodents out and keep things a little bit warmer in some colder temps. The frame itself is a BAL NXG frame, which has some big advantages. One, it's going to be huck bolt over welded. It's all CNC cut. And the fact that it is a high strength, low alloy steel means that for the same strength ratio as a higher carbon steel, it's about 20 to 30% lighter plus it has better chemical resistance which means less chance for rust as previously mentioned because this one has the ultra package on it it does come with gen prep so if you want that generator it's much easier to have it installed and then right here you will see the more ride step above step system extremely solid the aluminum treads on there so those aren't going to rust and that leads you right up to the tempered glass door not only is this a great looking door, but it also has a friction hinge, so you don't have to worry about any kind of clips. And then you have the larger grab handle just to make it a little bit easier to climb in and out of the RV. Now, there is some additional storage right up front, even though it doesn't have a pass through because the gen prep, but on the other side of this coach, there is a pretty good storage space there, as well as your wet bay for all the hookups. Let's talk about the Nightfall 25N, which falls right in the middle of the Nightfall lineup as far as length. This is honestly the great layout, kind of similar to the 27N in the back, but you get a full walkthrough or pass-through bathroom leading up 
to that nice big bedroom. In the back here, we're going to have the gaucho sofas. Again, very similarly to what they have in the 27. And essentially it makes up into a bed the same way. You take the huge table that we have, put it right on top, you can line up the Velcro so that table doesn't move, take the back cushions, off each one of these uh, sofas, put it on there, and that will create your bed. In the back, you have a patio deck standard. I mean, party deck, patio deck, whatever you wanna call it, this is great, this is why, uh, the reason a lot of people get a toy hauler, and the fact it's standard's fantastic, 1,500 pound weight capacity. Now, if you need to load up your toys, you can drop that ramp down, and it is 3,000 pounds. You also see the bug screen here, so you can get a nice breeze, and right up above me, Super cool bed. They call this like a Tokyo style bed. Um, it's very, very easy to, to use, to pull down. Now, I wouldn't do it from underneath it like I am. I'm just gonna do this for demonstration, but you can see you can pull it down quite easily. It's strut assisted, goes right back up, and you have kind of like the European style slats here. So who's ever sleeping on here actually has some support, which is something, again, we don't see very often in a drop down bed. Uh, I do like this setup, and I love that there's a huge window on the camp side. This does open as well if you need that uh, cross ventilation and you can see the window treatments are simple but effective. It's just gonna be a manual roll here. Let's go take a look at the bath. This one has a walkthrough bathroom and I know it's, it's very divisive, right? Divisive, 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 divides people, yes. Um, people either love it or they hate it and I get it because if you're in here, the bedroom, as we'll see, doesn't have a door. So if you have guests in here, you're trapped in the bedroom until they're done, which is not the best setup or feeling. But what you get out of it is a lot more space in a smaller floor plan. And take a look at how much space I have in the bathroom. I mean, I can actually get changed in here, which you can't say for many RV bathrooms. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. Also, every nightfall has a tankless water heater. So when we're in the shower, which as you will see, it is a very large shower. Uh, I have plenty of height here. I mean, you know, I'm six foot tall and height is definitely not an issue. I can turn sideways. So not only can I fit in here, but I can actually enjoy my shower because of the on-demand water heater that this one comes equipped with. And the bedroom in the 25N is almost identical to the one in the 27N, and for good reason. It's a great layout. You have the Camper Queen storage on both sides, both the mirrored wardrobe and in the back, storage across the top, plus the big wardrobe here. And once again, if you want TV, there's a spot to mount it right there. So let's talk construction on the Nightfall 25N. Starting off on the bottom, you have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. That, of course, is going to keep things a little bit warmer, hopefully keep rodents out, and it will also help keep out some road grime. Then coming up the side, this one has your standard build, so to speak, meaning that it has the aluminum exterior, which I personally really like the aluminum. I think it looks great. Also, it's very easy to replace if this ever gets damaged. But I think the big win for the nightfall, at least for me, is what's behind this. Because behind that is a spray foam insulation where most manufacturers have just like a rolled batten, like what you would have in your house. And in theory, that sounds great. The issue is that over time and this going down the road, that fiberglass will start to shake down and you have dead spots up top. You have voids where you will have heat loss. You will start to have insulation issues. Plus moisture can get in that wall and start to rot things out. But with spray foam, it's going to eliminate those voids. You're not going, it's going to be resistant to that moisture and it'll actually help strengthen everything because it helps connect all of these studs together. Then as we make our way even up further, all the way up to the top, this is a fully walkable roof with a Duraply TPO roof membrane. Now that TPO is going to have greater puncture and tear resistance than a lot of other membranes out there. Plus it is going to be uh, anti-mold. So it'll be mold resistant, which is huge. And on top of that, it's going to be uh, extremely flexible and just overall a better roof compound with less maintenance. So when it, you're looking at overall construction, even though it's a standard build, I think the Nightfall definitely has some big advantages. 